Uh, I'd like to focus, uh, however, on uh, J.P. Morgan's role in the days leading up to MF Global's bankruptcy, resulting in a loss of about $1.6 billion of client funds when MF Global was obligated by law to segregate and protect. In its final days of operation, MF Global shuffled hundreds of millions of dollars around from account to account in what MF Global treasurer Edith O'Brien described as a shell game. Uh, MF Global customers, including many Montana farmers and ranchers, saw their funds wiped away overnight in this so-called shell game and the firm's failure to segregate these funds. Mr. Diamond, on May 18th, Mr. Giddens announced J.P. Morgan's return of approximately $168 million in cash, proceeds of excess collateral that your firm held at the time of MF Global's liquidation more than seven months ago. Funds rightfully belonged to MF Global customers, including hundreds of farmers and ranchers. Why did it take your firm seven months to return these funds? We were a bank to MF Global, and the second they had problems, we immediately went to the trustees and the courts, told them exactly what we had, what we didn't have, and we've been waiting for them to finish their work before we released anything. There was no hiding anything. Uh, we've cooperated every step of the way with the authorities. Well, there was, there was money released uh, initially, I believe, uh, when MF Global uh, started down this path but, but by your firm. But there was $168 million, I believe, that's the firm that is, that was held seven months. Why? why? I mean, we for the guidance if it was their dough, it should have went we to them. We for the guidance of the court, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we, I think we were waiting for the guidance of the court and the trustee. Okay. We, we weren't deliberately withholding the money. Even though uh, you had placed MF Global on debit alert and you limited, uh, you increased the uh, collateral requirements, when they asked you to transfer the money, there was no conversation about whether this money was segregated funds? You just transferred it? They transferred it to us, yes. It was, in your, it was within your institution they requested right. it transferred. Right. It was covering overdraft from the prior day or something, yes. So the question is, is, is the real question here is, is that right. you guys were concerned about MF Global. You guys know the industry better than anybody setting up here. You guys knew what was going down with MF Global because you, you put them on debit alert. They had requested money to be pulled out of, that was in your facility, to be sent to another facility. There was some question by uh, senior management officials in your firm whether this was segregated money, money that farmers were hedging with. And in your words, hedging was to protect a company in, uh, in bad outcomes, from bad outcomes. Can you... Can you tell me if J.P. Morgan had any obligation to protect so those my, funds? My lawyers just gave me notes, and they gave oral confirmation, and then went bankrupt. <laughs> okay, so you got you you got oral you got oral confirmation on this. Is that general general operating procedure? No, the, the general operating procedure is you don't have to ask at all. Okay, the, 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 that's their responsibility to make sure they have customer customer funds and customers. even even when we even, were we were using excessive precaution. Even even when a company is uh, going belly up. Yes, even when it comes to going belly up. That's why we're trying to make sure. And we're also trying to help them at that point in time. It wasn't uh, just the debit I, alert. I appreciate right? that. I just, my, my concern here is because um, there were a lot of farmers that, that hedged, hedged in, right. to protect themselves from right. bad outcomes. And if this money was transferred and it was segregated money, um, there's a real problem there. That's, that's all. Just looking out for my folks. I, I